Welcome to Blockchain Ardor, downloading the full Ardor client, creating an account, and forging. The time to complete this process will depend on your internet speeds, but in the end, it's really just a few simple clicks. First off, why would you use the full client instead of the web wallet? First, you get access to the full features of Ardor and its child chains. Second, if you have a balance of a thousand Ardor or more, then you can forge and help secure the network. This is similar to the concept of staking your coins. You shouldn't expect any crazy gains, uh, particularly if you have only a few thousand Ardor, but as the network sees more use, your odds will increase. Uh, and you can also keep your eye out for new forging pools where multiple users can securely lease their funds to a central account to increase their total stake and therefore their odds of creating the next block. That's all getting a little complicated, let's put that aside. The third reason you might use this is that the desktop client is simply more secure than the web browser. So let's jump right on into it. How do we get the Ardor client in the first place? As I've mentioned in the past, we always want to navigate directly to websites. We don't want to be trusting hyperlinks. So ardorplatform.org is where we're going to go this time. We'll land on this nice page here where you can find plenty of other information around the platform, child chains and how they work. Uh, you can kind of spend your own time doing that. We're going to go straight over to download Ardor in the upper right corner. We'll land on a page where we see three options for downloading. We have the uh, Ubuntu system, we have the iOS, and we have the uh, Microsoft. So for me, I need the Microsoft. I will go with that and click download. Now, you'll want to put this wherever it makes sense on your computer. Let it download. It's 165 megabytes, so it could take you a few minutes if your internet's real slow. Mine's not amazing, uh, and it will take me, you know, four minutes. So, uh, so I'm going to skip on ahead and let you kind of hit pause while yours downloads, and I'm going to continue through this process using uh, a version that I have already got. We'll hit yes, you know, yours will download, you'll click on it as well on your, wherever you downloaded it to, and you'll click yes. We'll begin to extract this file. Select your language, English for now. This is already on the computer. Are you sure you want to install another entity? I'll say yes for now. Okay. Welcome to the installation. Let's click right on through. Next. I accept the terms. You should go ahead and read on through all of this here and make sure you're okay with it. I've done that before. This is all good to me. Uh, Please read the following. This is another message that you should be careful to read. Next, again, we'll select the installation path. You can browse and select where you'd like it to go on your computer. Next, direct, the directory already exists. Yes, I'm going to overwrite my file because that's okay. I have all of my passphrases. The next thing that you get to decide is whether you want the full blockchain or whether you want the light client. So. The light client, why would we use that? Well, maybe you want to have access to all of the different uh, full functionalities of the Ardor and Ignis uh, system, but you don't want the full blockchain downloaded on your computer. You still want to run in a relatively light mode, but you're, you, know, you want this extra security of having it on your desktop, and you still want access to all the functionalities. Well then, you're going to click this first box, Operate as Light Client and click Next. This will make your download a lot faster. I'm not going to do that right now. You can also download as a testnet if you're a developer or a business looking to play with this. There's also a faucet. You can go and get some free Ardor and Ignis app for the testnet, so they're fake coins, uh, but that can at least let you get to go and play and get started in the environment. Click Next. We'll click ahead. Next and we will write everything. Now, installation process running, great, that was super fast. We'll hit next, installation, done. 
Boom. Okay, now I'm going to navigate over to Ardor on my system. So, this is where you have to ask yourself the question, do I have an account already or do I need to create one? If you've already created one, then you can use your passphrase and log right on in. If you're new, you'll collect you will click on the uh, don't have an account and here we will see your secret passphrase as I mentioned in the past this is like your social security number don't lose this if you lose it you lose your coins if you give it to someone else they can steal your coins this needs to be secret you should write this down on a piece of paper uh, and keep this safe don't copy and paste it as text on your computer that won't be secure Keep it safe, written on a piece of paper somewhere. As your backup, you always need this, or you will lose your coins. Below, we see your public account address. This is where everybody will be sending you money. This is where you'll send money to from exchanges if you're operating elsewhere. You will click, I will not forget this password. Thank you very much. I will be responsible. Next, you will have to enter that passphrase to prove that you actually spent the time writing it down. Make sure you write it down and aren't just copying this on your desktop somewhere. Next. Here we are. We have our account. That didn't take too long. If you were someone who had an NXT account and you wanted to log in, you would use your NXT passphrase to enter uh, and it would all be fine. Now, what do we need to do here in order to forge? That's really the, the final question. Well, you would move your balance of a thousand Ardor from an exchange somewhere. You'd copy your address here by clicking this box just beneath your public account address in the upper left corner. You can click that, it'll copy. You'll go over to your exchange, you'll enter this as your address to send it to. And then, once you have your thousand Ardor here, we will click on the button that says Forge right there. Now, it doesn't show up here, so I'm going to go over to a different account. Here, we see the button, not forging. We're going to click this, enter your passphrase, and there you go. You'll have access to forging. You'll see that green light turn on, and you'll need to leave your system on in order for it to forge. You always have to keep your system on in order to take advantage of that. Anyways, that's it plain and simple for the full client i covered how to download it how to create an account how to begin forging i hope this video was helpful i'll be back again with a few more demos on some of the other functionalities within this ecosystem in the next few days thanks for tuning in